as we survey the damage from Hurricane Sandy, you will see that uh, Hurricane Sandy had nothing on us for <laughs> dwellers in Highland. How you doing there, brother? How'd you make out? Uh, good. All right, sounds good. See, there's another example of one not losing any sorts of electricity. As we will see, Hurricane Sandy basically did no damage to uh, coastal dwellers on high land, much as uh, Irene of last year. As you will see, you just have your uh, fallen leaves, and basically you'll see more leaves on the ground this time around, because as uh, this happened at the very end of October, when the leaves were coming off the trees, as opposed to Irene, it was uh, in August, the green leaves were still abundant on the trees, and this time around, as you can see, it's littered with leaves everywhere, and uh, the, the winds here kind of help uh, this process along, but as you see, for the most part, there's a puddle there, and now it's starting to rain a little bit. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, Tuesday morning, the, the day after. And uh, as you can see, we made out pretty well here. No loss of electricity. Basically the same thing that happened during uh, Irene. No loss of electricity. And even during the, the, uh, the, the ratio that we had back in June, no loss of electricity. So it seems like... Uh, we were pretty fortunate, make no bones about it. This storm was catastrophic, it was devastating in many, many places. Uh, New York, basically underwater, lower Manhattan, over half a million people without electricity. Lincoln Tunnel flooded in uh, various parts of New York City from 40th Street on down, no electricity. Um, barrier Islands, devastated. Atlantic City, which is five miles from here, devastated underwater for uh, good portions of it, good portions of the boardwalk, devastated. But for coastal dwellers on high land, uh, it had a minimal effect. As you can see, leaves pretty much everywhere. But uh, you, you might see a few fallen limbs, but not many. But for the most part, we were fortunate. We got out of this thing unscathed. Again, let me say that again. For the most part, as you see, no fallen trees, no loss of electricity, and we got out of this thing unscathed. Unscathed. And so, um, you see a few fallen branches back in this general area. But, uh, again... This storm was catastrophic and is still doing grandiose things as we see uh, in West Virginia. I haven't got the totals. But I, I'm just waking up and reviewing the property here. But uh, I just, uh, I know in West Virginia, they might have gotten a couple feet of snow already. I've seen the snow down in Tennessee, Ohio, Kentucky. It, it, and it's pretty cold out here in the wind. We're getting a little breeze here. But uh, fortunately in this general area, the winds didn't even, I don't believe, got up to, as I was monitoring things, things didn't get up to even 60 miles an hour, I would say. We had a few nice wind gusts, but as you can see, no damage to the buildings. Okay, no damage at all. No roofing damage. Um, it was, it was relatively... Uh, calm. I was out in the middle of the night walking around in it and it's probably actually breezier now than it was at that particular time. So again, for coastal dwellers on high land and again, make no mistakes about it, this is for coastal dwellers, people who live on the coast and who are on high land it was not a problem. Um, for those in low-lying areas Yes. For those who live right on the coast, you know, sea level, yes, it was a problem. And make no bones about it, the storm was devastating and uh, quite a few people lost their lives. But uh, 
for us on high land not a problem no loss of electricity uh, matter of fact I'm going to go to the store and get some things for the day um, I might even barbecue today but uh, this is the uh, remnants this here is the remnants cars riding around um, this is the remnants of uh, Sandy and it seems like the uh, the worst is in back of us here so all looks well and uh, this is uh, this is the scene here so uh, this storm has uh, devastated millions have impacted millions of people from the uh, Caribbeans all the way up to Maine and up into Canada but for us We've got away unscathed, fortunately, and uh, you just want to keep those in your prayers who, who this storm uh, impacted, because uh, those people who were, the, who were on the barrier islands, those people who were in low-lying areas, or even flood-prone areas, such as the uh, Raritan Bay and, and, and uh, Sayreville, those people have a lot to deal with. So uh, even Jersey City have an aunt that lives in Jersey City and uh, from what I was told she uh, she lost uh, electricity in sometime uh, in the evening so uh, we want to keep all these folks in our prayers but again my forecast is uh, the same as it was during, Hi during Irene for those who uh, live along the coast on high land again Irene or Sandy had nothing on us so again I'm signing out take good care and uh, this is it. You see it. You see it with your own eyes. Uh, you see leaves, but you don't see any down trees, anything of that sort. So we made out well. I'm signing off, and uh, take good care.